back to Indie Select, continuing our journey on Zeo Drifter. We are in the pink planet, and uh, that pink goo does not look welcoming. I'm, I'm really starting to believe that this game is actually some sort of PSA for um, diseases in some strange way. I don't know why, but I feel like there's Ooh. just... I know, right? Uh -huh. Don't let the pink goo get you. Um, right. there's, there's just a lot of infection going on in this planet. We've, right. we've gone to the pink... Uh, planet of infection. Yeah, yeah, you think pink, you think, you know, warm and healthy. I but thought unicorns. No, oh, yeah. Well, I think uh, this this purple spiral over here looks much more magical. Okay. And would contain uh, okay, unicorns we Okay, I feel like we we're, gonna, we're gonna go for the unicorn planet. Yes. The uh, backwards oh. unicorn planet. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 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 he's not having a good day. Things are starting to get, well, ooh, just getting that goo. Yeah, well, well, this this looks much more promising. Yeah, looks like we're already I, feel progressing like, I feel like we're... More than a pink planet. Oh, man. I don't know, is it just you, but the plane left to right, is that messing with you a little bit? What, you mean going, you mean right to left? Yeah. Like the the plane not, the opposite direction. Yeah, like it's it's not following old school yeah, like, which, side scroller ooh, rules that Mario crazy. established. Yeah. Uh, no, because these games there's gonna be a lot of backtracking. That's what Metroid's really famous for. It gives you an open area, but a lot of it's blocked off, and you can't go past that area until you find an item that lets you go past it. Okay. So. That's why I think it opens up with four planets that you can choose from right away. You can, you can start out, you know, at different places depending on how you want to play the game. But there is a some sort of of a linear structure to it. Okay. Just depending on you know the items you have. This hermit crab is angry. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's throwing those beach balls at me. No, he's collected dead. over the years. No, he's dead. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. true. He's like, you know what? Someday. There's gonna be a, a, a saucy a, a space explorer coming, and I'm gonna throw my beach balls at him. I'm throwing all my balls at him. He just he just wanted to party. You know. These guys though, they're no good. Yeah, they're pretty intense. You might as well just avoid them. They're like those people at the party that bring like I don't know, the intensity when it's not needed, where you're all just trying to have a chill night, and like they just show up and they're all woohoo party time. That's those guys. Whoa, where'd you go? Now we're like in the whole other side of another world. This one, this one involves much more exploration, but that's cool. Yeah. I'm down for it, and I'm down with it. Ready to get funky on the purple spiral planet. I really like the music in the background too. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's kind of chill. You can see in the background that there's there's kind of like more to the level. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna explore that later on. The developers of this game, they made another game. Uh, it's called, they're a Renegade Kid. They made one more game that I've, I've played, at least. Um, uh, it's like Mutant Muds, something, something similar like that. And it was kind of fun due to the gameplay fact that. You'd start in the foreground, but you could go in the background, kind of how that was. Like that Ooh, was far in the fancy. background, so you could travel between the two. Nice. And it, yeah, it was, a, it was a fun, sweet, retro-inspired game, similar to this. I am doing a lot of exploring. That is oh, where, where are you too high, now? too high too, for me. Too high for you. Whoa. 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 Oh. All right. This game's got secrets. Secret world. Oh, that yeah. That blackness. That blackness may have, like, I don't know, other things for you. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I'm, whoop, I'm surprised. Whoop, whoop. Whoa. Watch out. Whoop. All right. Oh. Snickers, there's a lot going on there. There's too, too much for me to handle. Well, not anymore, now that I have my extra health, you know, <sighs> no big deal. Oh man, well now, now you can fight all of the diseases. Although we're not in disease world. This one looks, you know, far less infected than the other planet did. Just some happy little floaty guys and... This is definitely a, some sort of... A water world. Don't be yeah. surprised if we run into Kevin Costner here. But <gasps> this is here. He's been he's been hanging seeing. out in video game world, just waiting for you to show up. Yeah. It's like you know what? Forget making movies. Forget fame. I want to go relive my water world days in 
retro space planets. You know, really, when I think of Kevin Costner, the movie I think of is the Robin Hood movie he did with yeah. Morgan Freeman. Yeah. That's, I remember seeing that movie a lot. I don't know much more Kevin Costner films. Like I never, I've never seen What Dreams May Come. I don't remember Waterworld at all, and that's probably for the better. Uh, but I do remember Robin Hood. I remember that yeah, movie. Yeah, he was the Prince of Thieves. I, I remember more, what? strangely enough, I remember more of the parody, uh, what was it, Robin Hood Men in Tights? Yeah, the Mel Brooks film. Yeah, I remember Tight more. Tights. Yeah, yeah, I remember somehow more of like the weird parodies in that, kind of based on, on the Kevin Costner Robin Hood. But, yeah. Mostly, you know, where everybody's dead or whatever. Right now, the scene that goes to me most is like where he goes to his old family home and like they go through, this is the Mel Brooks version, they go through and they find out like, like his blind, uh, his blind friend is, is reading the Braille Playboy. Was, That's kind of what I'm going through. Was his name Blinken? Was, yes, was Blinken. Obviously, to point how much he could see. Um, yeah, so, and Braille Playboy, and I thought to myself, you know, that's, that's brilliant. Why didn't anyone ever think of, like, 3D Playboy? <laughs> or, like, you know, 2D. Whoa, like, whoa so it's like you know, the same like, guy from before. feel it. The uh, virtual geez. reality world, though, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a thing. I know, we're, we're kind of back to this big, purple, angry flea. We, yeah, we're already at, Ooh. we're already at virtual porn. Oh, man. Not, not that I've seen it, but I've seen like YouTube reacts kind of thing. Uh -huh. Where, yeah, they'll they'll put on like the Oculus Rift, and it's um, oh, I keep keep messing oh, up on life jumps. Oh, life system fail. But it's a, uh, it's like a POV porn, so from like the guy's point of view, and you know, there's just a girl See? doing her thing. See, that world could happen. You know, in Zeo Drifter world, that's old news. It is. It and really it's old is. News. Kevin Costner invented that a long time ago. That <laughs> so. Oh, man, there was there was a song in that Robin Hood movie. There was like a you know like a made for the the movie song, and I I remember it. it oh is. yeah, it's the the Brian Adams song with Brian him. Adams. Yeah. The, do, you, do you know how it goes? I'm yeah. trying to remember, I but I. I die for you. That's all I remember. Of it. Da, 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 da. Everything I do. Everything I do. There you go. I do, do it for you. Yeah, that's it. And I remember the video for it had Rod Stewart or a bunch of people yeah. and like their sexy wives and they were all hanging out like having this luscious dinner or something. But there was no food there if I recall. But yeah, they were all hanging out, being all in love and stuff. And then, well, Brian Adams never, never really got sexy again after that. That one song. Yeah. Him, because of Kevin Costner, he was a sex <laughs> yeah. god. But, I mean, Rod Stewart's always been a sex god. But. Well, thank you so much for reliving that song for me because I could not remember and I was trying to sing it in my head <laughs> the entire time. But the song I kept singing was, uh, it was actually the one from Armageddon. I don't want to close same, my same eyes. Thing. I feel like if this you were making... a similar tune to it. <laughs> oh no, oh no, what happened? Oh yeah, get my next power up. Ooh. Ooh. Lane shift. Well, it's probably I can go into the background now. Ooh. Let's check it out. What? 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 What happened to you? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Maybe. Whoa. 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 All right, there We've we got go. Got all Donkey Kong with yeah. it. Can you climb up there? Whoa. Hey, buddy. All right. No, no, I can't climb. But yeah, that's cool. Okay, yeah, I can go. I can go to the background now, like I thought. Nice. Yeah, I remember that song, the Robin Hood one, being used in, oh, it's like my favorite show, Arrested Development. Uh-huh. So, yeah, um, Job, he makes a CD for Michael to show his appreciation, and he sings that song. I'm just saying, if you were making a soundtrack of all-time cheesiest, let's have sex uh, music for movies, that one's going on there, and so is the one from, whoa, you living too, just floating down, like, I don't care, I'm yeah. gonna float. Whoa! Um, <laughs> Wink. <laughs> it's like ching ching ching. Um, well, yeah, no, like, I'm like it... that would be part of it though. That that song would definitely be part of it. Well, I am putting and that on my playlist now. The crazy music, yeah. Putting it on my song. my uh. Your my... Woo, woo ladies ultimate movie sex list song list, and then uh, you can my eat my Spotify my Spotify sex station, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> Call it uh, animal crackers in your bed. For a nice Armageddon reference there, chicks dig that. 
I don't, I don't remember that reference. Oh man, like, the, the, do you don't remember that scene from Armageddon where uh, Liv Tyler and she's got like the sexiest animal uh, cracker eating belly button on the planet? I, I do remember that belly yeah, button. Yeah, the I belly button. That. You remember the animal crackers trying to eat the belly button? I, oh, that's, it's so hot. Yeah, I'm it's gonna, a hot eating gonna, belly button. I'm gonna, <laughs> so hot, I'm gonna need a, need a minute here. So yeah. I guess uh, I'll just catch you guys on the next episode. Till next time! I'm gonna go check my banana bread. You got it. I'm gonna look up this belly button.